Nico, you want strawberry jam cookies? You do? If you're looking for a last minute Christmas cookie idea, this is it. Today, I'm gonna make my Grandma Helen's Italian strawberry jam cookies, and I'm gonna try to get them to taste just like hers. This was her recipe box. It's older than me. And when she went home to be with Jesus in 1998, because I'm the oldest grandchild, which used to be a cool thing, I got her recipe box. And I call it my treasure chest because all her recipes are in her handwriting and I still have it. And it's such a great part of her and it, it just brings back so many wonderful memories. She used to make at least six or seven different kinds of cookies for Christmas Eve for us. And they would be stacked floor to ceiling in her bedroom the weeks in the weeks before Christmas in tins and we used to get so excited. So I'm going to try to make them today. Come join me. This is a really good cookie. It's delicious. You don't need a lot of ingredients. It's pretty quick and easy. So let's go make these cookies. Welcome to the Fruitful Farmhouse with Chris. Well, welcome back, hopefully. Today we're going to make those jam cookies. So what we're going to need is one stick of margarine. I've substituted butter for margarine in cookie recipes before, and I find the big difference is butter obviously makes them taste more buttery, but it makes them a little crispier and browner, where the margarine makes it softer, makes the cookies softer. And today I'm trying to get them to taste like Grandma Helen's <laughs> jam cookies, so I am following her recipe to the T. I'm going to use one stick of margarine, a quarter cup of brown sugar, one egg separated, a cup of flour, Smucker's strawberry jam because this was her favorite. It was always in her house. And a half a cup of chopped walnuts. You can put the walnuts in a plastic bag and kind of roll them out with a rolling pin to crush them up or throw them in a food processor. It takes two seconds, which is what I did to get them nice and crumbly. You don't want too many big pieces because we're going to roll the cookie balls in these nuts. So the first thing we're going to do is add our brown sugar to the margarine and get it going, kind of cream the two together. You know, it's funny. Growing up, <clears throat> my grandma Helen did Christmas Eve every year, and we're Italian, and we did the traditional Feast of the Seven Fishes. When we were kids, we looked forward to it every year. What a feast, single-handedly, my grandmother put out. Her name was actually Elena, but when her parents came over to America from Calabria, they changed her name and shortened it to Helen which I guess was common back then. Um, they wanted it to sound more American. And I guess they wanted their kids to be a little more easily accepted when they came over. So pretty cool. She used to tell those stories to us. But the Feast of the Seven Fishes can be anywhere from 7 to 13. I've done a little research on it over the years because I always like to know what the traditions, the family traditions are all about. And it could be 12 different types of fishes on Christmas Eve, which would be, it would represent the 12 disciples, or 13, which would be the 12 disciples and Jesus. So that was a pretty cool thing I learned. And what a spread. We, even as we got older, we looked forward to it every single year. It was a huge feast. And then we'd all be sitting around the table, pants on buttons, stuff sick, and it was time to bring out her cookies. Six or seven different kind of cookies, pies, fruit, nuts. Oh, those were the good old days, right? I would love to hear about your traditions, your Christmas family traditions in the comments, or any special recipes that you make that your mom or any family, family member used to make that you still make today. Okay, this is looking good. So now we're going to add just the egg yolk. I'm going to use my mixer. Get that mixed up.
Now we're going to add our one cup of flour and mix that up good until it's smooth. Looking good. Okay. This is mixed together well. And now we're going to get our hands dirty. This is what it looks like right now, kind of crumbly. But we want to make this into one big ball of dough. So mix it all together. Kind of press down until it forms a big ball. She used to make this recipe. She would double it. She would triple it. I'm only making one recipe. I'm not going to double it, so it's not going to come out to be that much. I'll probably do some more before Christmas. But this will be enough for right now to show you how delicious these are. Okay. Should feel nice and smooth. Oh boy, look at my hands. Good thing they're clean, huh? Or were. And then we're going to let this refrigerate for one hour. I'm going to wash my hands, and I'm going to come back after I take this out of the refrigerator in one hour. Now would be a good time to preheat your oven to 350. We're going to bake these for 20 minutes. And you want to put them on the cookie sheet about an inch, inch and a half apart. This part's fun. But your hands are going to get really sticky and probably full of nuts and egg. So keep a napkin close by. It's a little messy, but so worth it. Oh my gosh, this reminds me so much of my grandmother. <laughs> I love these cookies. I hope they come out good. I mean, you can deviate on the size a little bit. I'm just going to roll them up, dip them, and then put the jam in. Sticky business here. Pressing down easily. A little more on that one, I think. So is everybody getting excited for Christmas? It's just me and my husband. Now that I moved to the Midwest from New York, all my family's back home in New York, so I kind of miss them this time of year, which is probably why I'm making all these family favorite cookies today. Okay, this is how they're supposed to look before they go in the oven. They look pretty like that, don't they? Just like that, before you even bake them. Oh, the jam formed a heart in this one. Oh, that might make me cry now. Grandma Helen approves. <laughs> I just took the jam cookies out of the oven. They look perfect. The jam's going to look a little bit soft until the cookies cool down and then it'll get a little more solid and then start to caramelize and get chewy. But they look really good. I let them cool for about 15 minutes. Just took them out of the oven. I let them cool down for about 15 minutes and I sprinkled them and actually sprinkled them a little bit more with some powdered sugar because that's what my grandmother used to do. And now I'm to taste one. Oh, they look good. Mmm. I did it. They taste like hers. They're crispy and a little crumbly, soft. 
sweet, but not too sweet. The jam adds the perfect amount of sweetness to them. Oh my gosh, they came out perfect. They're so good. My husband's probably very excited that they're done. He heard the timer go off. <clears throat> I hope you guys try this recipe. I hope you try these cookies for Christmas. They're so good. You'll love them. And I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you on the next video. And I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and an awesome, happy, and healthy New Year.